<laughs> I'm just making fun of Sina here. Anyways, um, uh, hello everyone. So uh, welcome to uh, TriCast episode four. Like uh, we've got uh, three beautiful ladies here. I'll start with the youngest. Guys, phones on silent. What is this? Ehsan. <laughs> silent. Ehsan, my love. Pakistan is anyway, calling. So <laughs> we're here with three beautiful ladies. I'll start with the youngest. So we have. Uh, uh, who's, who's the, <laughs> the youngest? <laughs> who's the youngest? <laughs> we have uh, Rhea uh, here, who is uh, just a normal person. We have uh, uh, Mariam, who is uh, an she? influencer. And we, and, have and we have the beautiful Mina, Mina who is the youngest, youngest here. So she's no. 21 27 years old. Years old. Uh, 27, 27 years old. 27 years old. 27 years old. 24. Oh, no, she's the youngest. I'm 27. Oh, she's beautiful. I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful. All right, so I love I love Mina, Mariam, and Rhea so much from the bottom of my heart. So, uh, Mina has been a very, very old friend. I met Mariam through Mina, um, and uh, they've become uh, part of my life. Uh, I live and breathe them. <laughs> Fortunately, I live and breathe them. So we've got them here today, and we're going to talk about um, a couple of topics. Uh, we're going to talk about um, men in general. Mm. We're going to talk why about. I'm here. <laughs> We're gonna Why talk man? about what man? What? Oh, Nahas be Allah Ali. It's about men, good, good uh, future husbands. Um, Beautiful. What is this, Habibi? Is this like a relationship? Woman, podcast? woman empowerment, yes. Uh, yes. which is one. Cultural yeah. differences and how uh, Mina and Maryam have taken over uh, the industry in the UAE and of obviously Mina in Iraq. So we're just going to talk about those and then we're going to have challenges. And that's how we're going to go. All right. So um, I just want to start with Mina. Um, Why me? Because uh, I do just want to do that. It's my show. I can do what I, what I want. So mm -hmm. Mina, can you tell us a bit more about yourself, what you do, how you do, how you became who you are today, why you became who you are today? Um, <laughs> 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 just why? take it from there. <laughs> So, microphone wide when I said, "Tarma ta tsawran I think this was a mistake, man. It's a big mistake. It's too much questions, just like all together. What the? It's okay. Just take it there. Just introduce yourself. So basically, I'm Mina Sheikhli. I'm an interior designer and a content creator who started five years ago. And to be honest, I started social media because I had a different message to deliver. To what message? Just let me ask you. Wait. <laughs> yeah, what, what is this? I'm just so the thing is that what happened, uh, I used to do whatever content that I do now, like publicly to people. I used to do it private on my Snapchat. So and I made her become an influencer. You're right, yeah. She's That's actually, why Rhea is here. Yeah, she's actually um, <laughs> one of the people, and I have two more people who actually pushed me to be on social media, which is uh, Loay Sahi. Hala and Maruj Saadi. Here. <laughs> Here. <laughs> so uh, basically, apparently they really liked what I was doing on social media and, uh, no, sorry, not social media, on Snapchat. And they pushed me just to go public. And the thing is that I really hated the vibe between girls. Like, for example, Rea is wearing a nice shirt, okay? And then you go to her and be like, oh, I love your shirt. And she goes like, where did you get it from? I don't know. I forgot, it's out of stock. Like this always happens with girls vibe or if she got something or a watch or a bag and this used to irritate me a lot. Like, why don't you just share what you're wearing with everyone? Uh, why don't you just share the information with everyone? So this is why I started social media. I wanted everyone to love themselves, like how they are and to share everything with other girls because it's nice to sure. like, Share. <laughs> share. It's, it's fine. Okay. Such cool. you know? sweetheart. No. Do, do you like, think you've achieved your goals? Yeah, I kind of changed. Um, do you how like how today everybody's sharing every single thing? Not so much. Does it annoy you? Yeah, sometimes. Who's one influencer you absolutely hate? Wow. Wow. Ooh. Wow. I actually don't Ooh. hate anyone. You don't hate anyone. Who is no. one influencer that annoys you? Yeah, the, well, this actually like up to me to hate okay. and I don't like anyone but I'm not gonna mention it alright okay yeah. we're not gonna tag them whatever okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say it All but right. it's just that the, the concept of social media it can be good or bad and um, what I try to change on social media is just for girls to accept themselves the way they are uh, with no filter yes, stop you bullying girls <laughs> stop <laughs> <laughs> you just freaked me out no it's about you know like how it is Girls are always perfect. Celebrities are always perfect. They look so perfect. And we are not so perfect. No one is perfect. I'm so proud of you. 
Babe, why are you like my mom? <laughs> <laughs> like, in a competition. I have, to, I have to agree on everything you say. Yeah, yeah, and this is what I just, that was I my agree. message. You know? To love yourself the way you are. Do you love agree yourself. with that? Yeah. No, I no. agree. <laughs> Come on, guys. All right, cool. Okay. okay, cool. Do you think you've achieved what you wanted to set out to achieve? Yeah, I do. Do you think you're successful? Um, well, yes, she su- is. I didn't ask you. Thank I asked Mina. Do you Thank think you're babe. successful? Um, still on the way there. I so you, you haven't reached success yet? I did, but I think There's being successful, more. like, it's, it's such what's a big word. Okay. You know, Maria, like what's the definition of success? It's, it's different between a person to person. What's the definition so of success to you? Uh, like, for me, it's about, like, reaching my goals, my dreams, what I want to be, um, the things I want to do. Remember the goals you showed me <coughs> when you joined? Yes. And you've With vitamin C, you <laughs> cannot close your eyes. <laughs> 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 Guys, Sorry by the way, Tri- TriCast <laughs> episode 4 is sponsored by vitamin C. <laughs> by Poco, so? yeah, yeah. It's by NTD. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to get vitamin C. I'll get you boxes of vitamin C. Anyways, back to the topic. Okay. So what do you see as success? Do you see Mina as a successful person? Yes, but but in the end, it's about Mina. What What's like a, it's different between a person to person for example if she reaches a point a certain point she feels here she's successful then she starts with another uh, thing that she wants so it's never it's like, about goals, like so success is a never-ending thing yes yeah it's forever do you agree with that yes. i do and it's hard to be like always like three on the same level like i always think people should really put their goals up there and i I don't know. I was raised this way, you know, to always have something to dream. look up for. I mean, as dream long as you work. achieve the things that you set your mind to, and if you have goals and you achieve them, then that's success. Yeah. And if you're but happy you, with you yourself. But you have to never stop. Exactly. Because if you stop, it will drop, and there are some other people that they will, like, come and take over your place, you know? Like step, so step on you and yeah. go up, yeah. Yeah, so you just need to be, like, going, you know? Like, I don't know. It's just seriously different, as Mariam said, from a person to a person. What like do you guys think about the word influencer? <laughs> I hate it. Guys, can we just really discuss this? Since I've never actually spoken about this before. The word influencer is such a big thing to attach I yourself. I wrote it on my Instagram page. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, to me, listen, this is what goes to me. When someone asks me, what do you do for a living? I say, I, I'm an interior designer and a content creator, not an influencer. Do you know who's an influencer? Gandhi. Oprah, like people who actually did something big to the society. Yes, I know that we influence people, but for me, I think it's such a big name to earn it now. Probably men, maybe when I would change something huge in the society, I would be called an influencer. But, but, but for oh, example, for me, people gave me this word. I didn't take it. Like so would you I didn't accept anything people give you? No, but so like you uh, influencers, uh, like it's not a bad word. It's not like harmful or something. It's not you know? harmful, but you know, I'm sick, like, seriously, I'm talking and being very honest and transparent. I know it's my job, but influencing people is not only about makeup tutorials or things to no, buy. But at the end of the day, you do, I do you influence them with the way you put your makeup on, with the way you style your clothes, with the way, way you, you live talk. your life, with the way you talk. But the word as an influence, do you think but like... But that is influencing. You are influencing people in their purchase decision, for and example. by the way, no one will follow you if you don't influence a person of something. At least if you don't make them mad, even, you know? I know. I, I, I think yeah, it's such a big thing, to be honest. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't agree to that. I, okay, come on. If, what do you think? If, okay, if you take off your top and post some pictures, people are just going to follow you. You're not influencing them in any way. You're just showing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> me too. Siri me too. <laughs> Siri doesn't understand. Siri doesn't understand. I don't agree to that. You don't necessarily have to do something that influences someone for someone to follow you. Someone might follow you because okay, they just. Okay, but why? Some do some people follow like people you. even if they hate them because, you know, like it's in human nature that we just but like to but follow people. Hate and, see and, and love them. is an influencing also. So it's a feeling, baby. Well, like <laughs> just me, I know. I just, to me, like this goes to my opinion. I think I'm really. So you don't like the word influencer? I think it's a no. stereotype. And not only it's an not influencer, a blogger, an influencer. What do you want us to write? Because, you know, <laughs> <laughs> no, a lot of people, they come and be like, yeah, you are a blogger. No, I don't have a blog. No one has a blog. Yeah, like, especially a blogger, it's about a person. Uh, people don't understand what is the word. For example, 
uh, sometimes they come and they say you are a fashionista. For example. I hate this, I hate word? this word. It's it comes like uh, <laughs> I don't like, like it. What's fashionista? Fashionista is like some some of the people they they feel that it's like a wrong word or something they will say about you in a bad way. It's I not know. A bad I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I It really annoys me when someone just says you're a fashionista or a blogger. I would really like put myself under a content creator or a, a vlogger. Influencer? I hate the word influencer. You Again, hate the word fashionista, me. blogger, because you're not a blogger, but you are an influencer. Well, this is your best this friend is, telling you what you are. Yeah, and what I believe is that I still have a really long way to go to be called an influencer. I really well, want to. Yeah. But you are that, you're okay, not then, a historic then you're a social influencer. Media influencer. Yes. Yeah. Fashion yeah, influencer, I mean, lifestyle creator. influencer. But this is a more stylish word to say. No, I'm a content creator. What I do you do with your content, Mina? What for, do you do with it? sometimes, uh, different uh, like for me, for example, you will say you're a content uh, creator, for example. Mm. For me, a content creator has to be very creative, for example. Yeah. In my point of view. Mm. In your point of view, is like anyone will <laughs> post pictures, they are a content creator. I agree with you. But yeah. as a content creator, it's different from the topics that you talk about and uh, from the things that you do on social media. For example, I am on all platforms. I'm on YouTube and Snapchat and Instagram. Okay, and for blah, all blah, the blah. people that on on Instagram and YouTube, YouTube? are they content c- creators? YouTubers, yes. YouTubers, they create content because oh, they no, spend so much Instagram, time. Instagram, not Instagram yeah. they create content as well? Yeah, exactly. but not all of them. They create proper content. See, Hold on. So you're telling me. Content. It's no. really different than, you know, just dressing up and taking outfit of the day. That's, no. I used to, to be honest, when I started social media, I spent a year of my lifetime just creating content, different content. Every day, I used to have a different segment. I used to talk about cooking. I used to talk about fashion, make, 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 <laughs> makeup, uh, interior Can design. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Why did you do all of that? Because you wanted to share with people. Yeah, I wanted But to share so with the goal. Huh? Exactly. So you were influencing What's the goal? others. No, I think I you hate the word influencer you just, it's the stereotype. because it's a stereotype and every single person coming left, center and right and forward, yeah. whatever, they just call themselves influencers, right? Um, I think it's it's where, uh, you know, when you, when you go out to different places, when you're in the social media world, every single person has like 40,000 followers, 50, 100, whether 300, whether. whether they buy it or they don't buy it. I don't want to accuse anyone, but they're, they're not real because you come a long way five years ago. Mariam comes a long way five, six years ago. You guys are not liking the word influencer for that reason, but real- realistically, you all are influencing I others, yes, right? Yes, I do influence others, but for me, I don't like to be called an influencer in the matter of me influencing people to buy makeup or clothes or watch or whatsoever. Do you think brands care? I don't care. No, do you think brands care? But I at the end of the day... Listen, the to me, I'll tell you something. For me, working with any brand, and you know that very well because you're my manager, I'm very picky when it comes to brands. I need brands to represent me and represent how I am, and they understand my vision. You know, it's not about just, oh, let me just do an ad, and okay, it's amazing. Coming to the next question, right, for both of you. Yeah. Are you guys doing what you're doing today on social media just for the sake of getting paid from brands? Ooh. I do it both. I do it for paying. Yes, it's, uh, it's something that I work with. And I do it. I studied this because I wanted to do advertising for people. I wanted to take it to another level. I wanted people to see it on. People are not on. Uh, sorry for that, but people are not watching TV anymore. They are not watching. Uh, they are not uh, taking and buying magazines anymore. It's not like before. You know, every generation they have something different, something new. So we have to be like with the generations that it's going and to be updated and. When I came to do this, I studied, why did I went to a university four years for uh, integrated marketing communication? Just to learn how to do marketing for the people, for the, we yeah, don't but usually, lie. Usually, usually people do. go and study marketing to like maybe set a company or like go like work me. as an employee <laughs> like Rhea or like me, come and you know, do stuff. People never think that they're going to go study marketing to become an influencer with 600,000 followers who is generating income through advertising. Did you ever think that, uh, you know, you do that when you were studying back then? No. No. But because when I start, I started as a person. I, start, I started as a designer. I didn't start it as a, uh, someone that do, uh, does advertising for people. I started with my brand, Meme Design, and everyone in UAE, they knew me of Meme Design, the one that she designed clothes. The first Emirati 
girl, the youngest, I was the youngest in that uh, days, they knew me about this, like designing, not advertising. Advertising came after I became maybe well known in UAE or in my com community, you know? They knew me, then people need help, they need to push, they need people to buy from them also. So they it, come it, it through It made the market easier, yes. to be honest. And so did she start, like, did you study marketing to advertise for her own design? Yes, myself, mm -hmm. first. Yeah. Yeah, but for me, for example, when I started social media, I never thought that one day this will become also like a huge So I'm not asking why did you start it. I'm asking now that you were doing what you're doing, do you do it for the money brands pay you? No, I do it for both. First of all, I already created a family. If you were to choose one, f yeah, family is family, right? No, not family as in. If brands today stopped paying you guys money to advertise on social media, whether it's Instagram, YouTube, or whatever, would you still take the time to post as frequently as you post today, knowing that there is absolutely zero income from your social yes, media channels. Yes, I would do that I because I actually did that I for know, almost I'm two I'm years and a half. We still do it, by the way. And again, I. This is it's fine. It's okay. And the thing is that when I really started, and you know, I never used to get anything out of it. I just loved sharing. I just yeah. wanted to change the it perspective of people. This, like it was not love. only to me about money. Until this day, by the way, I have my own company and uh, I'm running a company that was different, like so different than what we do on social media. And I still don't care. And you know very well, I got like deals with really like big paychecks and I said no to them because to me, it's not about the money. It's about the name, it's about the credibility I worked on, it's about the relationship I have with my followers, and I really do consider them as family. I care about what they say, I care but about what they the do. But in the end, you took this, like, let's be honest, the people who go through social media now and they want to become famous and they want a lot of followers, they go through this a lot, or they, they like to come to you, for example, okay, let's be friends for two days, for example, tag me, because they want the money. They don't want you as a person. I know. Or me this as a person. This is why it actually, I actually filtered so many people because um, mm. I'm a naive person and she knows that. Um, maybe like you can see it from a different perspective. Are you agreeing that you're naive? Yeah. Oh, that's like, nice. she only wanted that. Um, um, like, um, listen, I trust mm. people a lot. She'll make decisions without actually. Okay. Yeah, mm. actually, you know. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to It's actually like, you know, I, I just never <laughs> think bad of people that, oh, they would use me or they would do this. But unfortunately, we came to a time that really, I was nefsi, really shocked. Nefsi. They'd come and they would just really like kiss. Dude, <laughs> okay, just to Kiss you know, your be a friend and uh, be there for you. And oh my God! And you know, they just wanted to do it for followers. And, and in I one day, that. if you close your account, or no one no, will look no at one you, will and look no one at, yeah. And if you don't, you don't, you have zero uh, followers on your account. No one will look at you. I know. So people are follower diggers. Like yeah, like not as, uh, <laughs> I'm not talking about the people. I'm I'm talking about the people They're that they wars. want to be uh, famous. They want mm -hmm. to yeah, but I, I, can I send a message out there to Please anyone? do send as All many messages boys. as yeah. you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, wh whoever really wants to be on social media or wants to be, be a you. content creator, please don't use the word influencer. Uh, really, uh, uh, don't think of money. <laughs> when I started... <laughs> I know, but seriously, once you want to be out there and you want to gain real followers, not by likes or by comments or do like some crazy stupid content just <coughs> to get followers or attentions. Think of creating a relationship with your followers. I swear to God, you know why I say they're my family? Let's say if someone goes to my picture and I write a bad comment about me. I don't even have to reply. They would really reply for me because I created this bond. I never thought that. So okay, you like you have an Iraqi army over there, or what's like what's? <laughs> they're not an army. They're my babies. Habibi. Army, I huh? say this. Habibi. Habib. Hal Habib. Uh, so it's like a, a really nice family. <laughs> don't think just you know, going straight forward to the thing. Oh, I want to make money. I want to make money. You will never no, get money. No, you will never, yeah. It's really, you don't, don't think of money. Think of creating a nice content. Think of creating a really nice relationship with your followers. This would really change how you are. And this is why, by the way, a lot of people think that I bought my followers because, you, you know, since when I started, mm. and people think that, you know, like, what Who the hell? Who thinks? Huh? Who thinks that? 
especially in my community. Spill the tea, like, yeah. Mina. And Spill you want to like, spill, come on, who is no, it? We're not right. going to tag them. It's not about tagging. I respect people <laughs> and I respect their opinion, but I just okay, want to clarify it. I want to ask you one, qu- one question yeah. for all of you. Yeah, let's, let's what go. do you think about the people that say that, what do you call us? Uh, content creator. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to change the mind. Okay. <laughs> and then, uh, no, because I respect mm. point of view. I will never like fight and no, I'm right. No, uh, everyone ma- makes mm. mistakes. Maybe, mm. انت اقنعتيني مو مثلا هاجمتيني yeah it's okay. different uh, what do you think about people that say that influencers or content creators or bloggers or vloggers or anything uh, they don't do anything they just get paid and they okay so coming to the next uh, next question which i have so mariam asked a question i just want to rephrase it and just make sure that our, one of our questions is covered right so i know very well how much income content creators make right whether they are at a million, two, six hundred, five hundred, ten thousand. I know it all because I'm managing all sorts. Knowing that, I know that you guys are earning a higher income compared to certain employees or CEOs or whatever in their field. And I know that. And you guys know that as well. You're earning a lot of money, right? And I know you guys are not earning easy money. <laughs> I know the fact that you're not earning easy money. But we two questions. Also. You spend, Habib. I don't spend. I, I spend think of other things. Thing. <laughs> Two questions. One question is, so how, how do you react with people that say you Jesus. guys earn easy money? <laughs> and secondly, to link that, being females in this economy or in this, in this industry, especially being a local female and being an Iraqi female and being Arabs, right? So the Arab men usually are the ones that, and you know what, I'm, I'm Iranian, I don't have this mentality, I, I appreciate everyone, but I'm just saying in general, Arab men always want to like feel like, you know, they have the upper power. hand or the power to say, you know, and what comes with power is money. If you don't have money, your, your power means no fucking shit, right? You have no respect whatsoever, because unfortunately in this world. So how do you guys feel towards that? And how do you guys feel towards this, this making easy money do easy you think you can money. make easy money See, like you just go you and snap a couple of pictures what and whatever think, and, actually. and i don't blame them of thinking this way because this is what they see they always see the filtered way of let's say advertising posting, about yeah. this or posting but they don't know like what do you go through what do i go through are what? you always on the mood to do that you know like imagine sometimes you are really in your Heidi knows that. Like, I've been through a lot. You already lot. cried and you finish and like, hi, hi, Yeah, but for, hi, for me, this, I can't do it, to be honest, <laughs> because I'm really not like that. Like, I swear to God, I can't even open the, the phone, like the camera no, phone. No, you would take some days off, I think. Yeah, I do take some days off to actually calm down until I put some myself days? again. Some days? <laughs> I know, I know, I'm Long just days, like, I'm not some days, probably a month. <laughs> but the thing is that, um, actually. it's really, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> it's really not easy. Putting yourself out there there just you know i really wish if people really can be in our place and just sit and read comments and be okay with whatever bullying you get yes no matter what be judged from everyone whether you, you like look it or not fat, you look thin your eyebrows is my they show yeah Baqara, thora, uh, haisha, yeah. Uh, what? يعني إيمان. I swear to God, if I come and say to a, in a person to you like Raya, شبي خش مشلش يشي شعرك شش. But you do that all the time, babe. I'm your best friend. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, no one can handle this. <laughs> <laughs> really? No. Like, seriously, no one can handle you this. You know, karma. It's it's not. <laughs> come on, babe. I don't. I love you. You know that. <laughs> so we do it to each other. It's fine. But in the end, people really don't understand. You what have we feelings. Through. When I when I did the TV show for Bait Beauty, people really think it's just an amazing 13 episodes that is just so lovey-dovey and, you know, everything is so easygoing. You guys don't know that what we actually went through shooting from 8 in the morning to 1 a.m., continuous, non-stop, changing outfits, changing makeup, changing hair, and you need to be in a different mood mood every single episode and you need to prepare content and you need to talk to the guests and 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 you don't sleep well and it's continuous shooting for a week like i swear to god a lot of people think that i am a robot you know i don't have feelings i need to accept yeah. feelings Do people think you're a robot yeah, yeah. 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 and they think that um, you always want to work for the <laughs> money and the things that you 
like you get or anything it's like oh it's uh, you just like you know sometimes they make me feel like i am growing a tree of money in my house and this <laughs> tree gives me money you know <laughs> and <laughs> there is nothing like and that can i can i share something that really you can share whatever the fuck no, you want like it's okay. seriously it really hurts me we have zero privacy yeah do you know what does this mean like you guys are behind But you're your not phone. entitled to privacy. No, no. Listen, I was no, just no, no. going to say that from a person. I mean, I'm your friend, but I'm not in social media and I'm not a public person. And I could never be, I think, because privacy is everything to me. And when you chose to become public, that's when you chose to leave your privacy behind. But also, I must say that the Arab community is very, very, very harsh on all the influencers everybody is harsh all content. human beings are harsh I no know, but, I know, I've, but I've, I've i'm looking at it from a perspective that okay i see how so you're telling me someone from italia it's italy is, yes is italia. definitely italy is is less harsh than someone from i don't no, know no, jordan in the, the comments the in the comments in the comments to they content have creators they just have a different accent no you know? listen I arabic people are just very I, I, uh, we are all Arabs, but I, I think, and I love Arabs. <laughs> Arabs but, are just, you know. Arabs. <laughs> but I think that we should be, we should be supporting each other instead of making our people who, who actually represent our countries look bad when they're doing that for us. They're giving us something that we did not know about before. For example, bringing us products from european countries or american from america and we don't know about that so they're showing us new things and we should appreciate that instead of being harsh to them and looking at all it's the comments this is i couldn't deal with that Mahdi. Like, i don't know if you could no, i'm just saying fuck comments fuck people who talk about things i'm sorry i'm cussing this I, is I, gonna I, probably I, I wouldn't say this you know i always forgive whoever says anything bad no, about I me i don't think it should bother you guys why should it bother it you we yeah. can say that means, but we're yeah. not going like, through this i, I think I it's learned, harsh i learned how to just ignore everything and I don't care if someone comes literally to me and say uh, by the way whatever comment or swearing that they would say I really don't care and I really do can't get affected anymore I think I really built a wall of maybe but I don't know. in the beginning but this wall it, it wasn't there when you when, when I first we, started yeah, we, yes no we, it when wasn't. we first started I remember um, when I see a, a really bad comment, and sometimes people say, "Allah yaqdich, Allah yaqd umrich, inti ma tetabi." I hope you die. Uh, yeah, uh, it's too uh, harsh. Really, ma tawarch. You you never get tired. You never get sick. No, but to me, uh, the hardest one was <laughs> when someone was like, "Inshallah tmutin." Like what? Really? Like how could you? I can't even say it to my enemy like how why what what did i do to you should we have like a reading mean comment section on our we should. i swear so to funny. god that would be yeah. like amazing because you will be actually so shocked of the way people express their feelings and it's i don't really think sad. it's feelings i think it's jealousy whatever whatever that you want to call it you're jealous you know what be better than me like this is what i yeah. really feel try to actually be better than what i'm doing and another thing having zero privacy is so exhausting like i can't even sit properly in a restaurant and eat without i sure. trust me i swear to god i don't mind it it's at what all. you chose i know but it's sometimes really draining we like, had an episode two weeks ago and i said to people if you do not accept to have no privacy at all you're being selfish because it's what you chose to do. It's what you chose to go public. It's exactly what Rhea said. I know, but there's some things. You have the example, benefits. You have there the benefits. Benefit, but there is a lot of bad things about the privacy because people can... You did very nice things in your life. Seven years, you're working on your content. You never uh, cursed anyone. You never said bad, uh, a bad word to anyone. Uh, and then uh, suddenly they... Uh, like if you do just one mistake either with a word or with um, anything it can be like a video you did you took by mistake or yeah my legs showed a little mm. bit they will <laughs> make mm. like a big deal of it too much يعني, and they will bully you no, and no, how listen, listen, i'm going out okay i'm going out with my friends I'm not sitting alone. I don't mind anyone who comes and literally approach me and say, I want to take a picture. I want to hug you. I am a loving person. I would love it. But sometimes I'm sitting with people who they don't want to be on social media and they don't want to be recorded. Yeah. 
they would not even come to me. Yeah, they Mehdi, don't ask for and they permission. don't like. They just let's say she comes to me and be like, "Can I take a picture?" No, they don't do that. They, they might take like, like a really annoying picture like for whoever is sitting next to me. Yeah. So like if it's her, maybe my mother. Uh, she don't want to go. Or anyone. And room. imagine they'll post it on social media. You'll see it on Facebook groups, and they're smashing. Or I'm standing, and they take a picture of my back, and they'll just like come up with. Does some the rumors. good weigh the bad? So you huh? guys are talking about the bad things, right? With yeah. the negative stuff. Does the good stuff weigh the bad? Does it? Yes or no? Does the good benefits weigh the bad benefits? Be honest. I'm, I'm, the bad is more. The bad is more? The then why is on more. earth because are you doing what you're no, doing? No. Why are you still here? Why are you still public? No. Because I it's, don't if know. it's not the money. You don't know? And if it's, it's not a, it's only not the course. money, no, you, you can't think of it. Let's say you're working in a company, okay? Yeah. And your well, boss you're, you're is an asshole. I leave. If I'm depressed, I'll leave. I leave. I left my company and I started Trifid Media. I left because yeah, nobody listened to me. And how many people can do what are you doing? Uh, people, okay, that's, that's, so a yeah. that's a different. That's a different question, yeah. guys. I'm, no, I'm because from ten, one will do that, or none. Maybe. One will from ten, one will start something. From ten, if people are miserable. If they choose to stay miserable, it's their problem, right? But I'm talking about people that don't have the potential of doing something else. I don't see that in the either of you. So if, again, I asked about money. You said it's not about the money. Okay, fine. So now I'm asking if the no, bad... No, it's about it because the money is... So you're doing it for the uh, money then? No, the money is a part of this. It's a part of it's it. It's like but it one plus one is You two. have a company, it's right? You have another source have, of income. Uh, so by the way, by the way, even if you come to Mina Sheikh Lee, like uh, page it's like it's it's you right but this is a company that belong of you it's a brand you yeah, have it's a, a brand. brand because i went to uh what do they call it economy yeah. and yeah, i, mean, I did a rukhsa for this yeah, yeah, yeah. that means we're that this licensed. is a work this no, is no 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 i have a license to be honest when people really think that this is not uh, will a you job do a license without a, a this, like we are actually licensed by the government but that was the question do you're still you're still going over your limits and you're still here. If my job but today I, and if my company makes me miserable in life and gets me like to say there's so much more bad than good, I will stop Maddie, it. how many times you called me, okay, it and you were collapsing. Me. And it happens to us because we're normal. I cry moving. in that toilet. Yeah, you cry. I cry, I cry too, yeah. but that's normal. Yeah, but, I mean, but when I cry, I know the future holds a very good future same, same goes same here. Okay. so why you guys think your social media holds a good future for you guys yes listen okay. i'll tell you That's something it. when i first started to be honest i never never ever thought that one day i will become this famous or but people will know me people will know me people will even come and take pictures with me like i still never get it like you know how um and the thing is that after all of this uh stress that i've been through with those five years with my privacy, my family, and you know that very well, I went through a really black area. You know, I was demotivated to do anything. I was drained. And for a fact that, I don't want to cry, for a fact that I can't even go out and share my feelings because I know that I will be judged and everyone was going to talk and everyone, mm -hmm. I can't. I can't, it's, it's actually draining, believe it or not, of how much I love it and I love my big family on social media, but I'm a human being, I need some, sometimes I need a space. It's a, let's say, if I took a decision one day in anything, do you know my followers actually come and they yell at me and they, they just fight with me and be like, how could you do nobody's this? Saying, nobody's saying that you're under pressure or you're happy at times, nobody's saying that. All I'm trying to get to is if uh, the bad weighs down the good, then why continue it? I would continue it because my future is 500 employees, a multinational company, and a shit ton of money because I love money, right? I, I, I'm doing what I'm doing because of money. I'm doing what I'm doing because I'm building an well, army I, to listen, take over. All right, so um, just to come back to the topic. So anyways, look, no hard feelings. I love everyone here. I know how hardworking everybody is, especially Mina and both of you has very very hard working uh, and I'm with you guys almost every day 
uh, for the past, I think, four months. So I, I really appreciate your hard work. I appreciate it all. And this is this is just for you guys to talk, and you guys are talking the truth. So it's it's good. It's good content, right? At the end of the day, your guys are creating content right now, and that's what's most important, right? Um, you have it's anything? Not more like creating content. We're actually just speaking the truth. That's okay. Something people don't see behind but the yeah, camera. But yeah, but I wish like yeah, some some days I wish that people know us in person. That yes. we're like. We're not. And I don't want you to judge us just because of our photos or nice edits or something, you know? We have. <laughs> we are <laughs> much more than this, trust me. Oh, we are more deep. <laughs> we are actually more. We're human beings. You're deep? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> deep inside, we're good. Oh, we're deep yeah. inside, okay. Deep cool. inside, you're good people. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> well, that's what the podcast is for right now. Right, exactly. Yeah. Speak your to mind. Try cats. Try cats. Try cats. Say it again. Yeah. Try cats. Try cats. <laughs> Not try cats, try cast. Okay. Try cast. cast. Do you guys have anything? Do you guys have anything to say to wrap this up? Anything you guys want to say to your fathers, uh, fans, family, mom, dad, sister, Mahdi? Anything uh, you want to say to Mahdi? I want to say it in Arabic. Can okay, I? please do. Yeah, of course you can. Um, عمركم لا تشوفون شخص من أكاونته في الإنستغرام ناس وايد تشوف الأشخاص تقول عنه خجاج ما أدري شو مغرور شايف نفسه وايد هالأمور توصلنا دائما. دا أنا ليش تعمت أدخل مثلاً اليوتيوب أو جلست اليوم ما أتكلم أباكم تشوفون الشخصية الثانية من مني أنا ولا من مهدي ولا من مينا وفي النهاية ترى كل واحد يشتغل أكيد يعني ما في حد بيداوم في الدوام وما يبقى معاش نحن نشتغل شغلة معينة لأن أكيد في دخل على الشخص ودائما لا, لا تحكمون على الشخص لأن أنتم ما تعرفون هالشخص هو هاد دخل يصرف على هلا يصرف على نفسه يصرف على وايد ناس ف ومحبتكم نعمة ومتابعتكم نعمة وهاي كلها الحمد لله يعني وبس I w- I would like to say this <laughs> don't ever ever judge a book by its cover <laughs> never never ever and what your cover is your Instagram page yes my makeup <laughs> 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 um, to be honest um, <laughs> I, I want to, s- huh? Um, to be honest, whoever works as a content creator, I look at them from a different perspective of how our followers they look at us. Uh, I know sometimes you think that we are just people out there for you guys to bully, laugh at, make jokes about. Um, but we actually do have feelings, and trust me, the time and effort we actually put. Um, in whatever we're doing, I've been doing it for five years, it has like good and bad, but trust me, it's not that easy. And if you are in my place or in Mariam's place or in any influencer space, you will not even last one day because it's so hard. It needs so much of energy, you know, to wake up in the morning. And I still remember when I started social media from the beginning, I used to wake up and read articles to do my Radio Mina, you know, like I see that on Snapchat to talk about different social topics so I can engage with my followers. This is first. Second, I used to try to cope up with events, brands, content creators. Um, my life, I have zero social life, by the way. A lot of people now, I'm trying to pick it up like for the past one or two months or three months. Ever since I know her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's just that I really lost uh, the touch between me and my real friends because of how much time. You work more than I, you. I work more than any normal person. I don't have weekends. Yeah, I don't we have don't vacations. have weekends, by the uh, way. People yeah. think when we travel, we have uh, the privilege. Oh, my God, we're traveling. It's for free. It's a press trip, blah, blah, blah. Mm. But you guys don't know what we go through under these press trips. You go have a vacation and enjoy and you put your phone away. My job is to actually record every single step of my day, um, every single piece that I put in my mouth, every single dress. I have to wake up 7 in the morning to dress up and look glamorous and nice because I need to post a picture on Instagram so the brands approve it, so you guys like the place and you will come and actually visit it. It's not how you see it on Instagram. 
we actually filters and try to show you the best image out of it. But you really don't see what we go through behind the camera. And I really hope you guys would really give another chance for me, for Maryam, for any other content creator to see them from a different perspective. We're just like you, we're normal people. Um, we work as hard as you work. You work on your computer, I work to create content for you guys so you can have different experiences. So, yeah, and let's not forget privacy. Respect people's privacy. I know we put ourselves out there, but sometimes um, we're humans. We don't want to share what we're feeling or what we go through. Um, or who are we or with. Or who are we with or what we do with family or whatsoever. We're not perfect. We're not angels. No, we're not that. We, we all go through bad and we all go through really... <laughs> You know that very well, and you know that very well. Um, through really hard time. But I can't just go out on Snapchat or Instagram or YouTube and tell you guys, oh my God, I am just so happy and my life is perfect. No, sometimes I really have a struggle to find a way to pay my bills and try to think of helping my family out, try to put a social life together and be a normal person. Uh, without stress, without, without anyone. Without stress, without anyone nagging, Mehdi calling you 24-7 to I'm just put doing your my shit fucking together. job. <laughs> no, just to put your shit together. Like, I swear to God, it happened with me. I was crying in bed. Mehdi didn't stop calling me. And imagine, I just needed a time out. You know, like, I just need to cry out. I'm a person. I'm a human being. I'm not a robot. And this is what you guys think. So we're not robots. We're but you do beings. appreciate the privileges you have that you can travel around, that yes. you can see different yeah, countries. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. We always Alhamdulillah. say Alhamdulillah. it's everything. This is like, yeah, this is nice, nice things and uh, a nice experience and everything. But uh, it's it's different it's work but you did it's grow a lot you did see a lot and i think you're in a place where a lot of people want to be in this place but exactly and in, in the end i wanted to s tell the people being an uh, an, a person on social media and a well-known person it can take a lot of you also from your time from your effort from your um, everything from your health that's true also so uh in the end when everything when when people take this from you or you give them to like you give for the people those kind of things you want uh, someone to appreciate, appreciate. what you're, you're you know giving. it's like your life is not yours yours it's for everyone else but you to judge and to, to judge and no 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 because i swear to any decision that i want to make i think of everyone my family my friends you guys yeah and then the last person who would actually think of myself is me do you know guys for a fact you think that i go out on vacations but for five years now i didn't travel on a trip that was a vacation to me without holding my phone replying to whatsapps emails instagram snapchat five years you think i travel and i have the best time of my life and i do <laughs> but no i mean i'm not gonna lie of course i i, I will laugh and be nice and uh, you know and that's but, what you choose to show but that's what i choose followers. to show but it's not that easy anyways look i just think that uh you guys are beautiful and i love beautiful people and uh, I love the fact that you're part can of TriFit. Can you put the music of uh, Barney? I love you. <laughs> you love me. I think we you, cho you chose the two most honest in influencers. I love Barney. <laughs> All right, cool. Good stuff, right? Okay. So I'm just going to wrap this episode up. Um, I love having you guys here. Thanks for the chat. Uh, I'm going <clears> to <throat> make sure I pick the most intense parts and put them out on social media so people can really see who you guys are, what you guys are are, are, are going through, the struggles, etc., etc. et cetera. Et cetera. Um, oh God, make guys. sure to, to watch this on YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter. Make sure to listen to the other version on Spotify, um, Apple yeah. Tunes or Do Apple whatever. We are going everywhere. We are going yeah. everywhere. Now Any social media ears, platform guys. on <laughs> earth, TriCast is going to be on. TriCast is going to take over very, very soon. 
uh, and it's going to happen uh, with beautiful people like Mina, Mariam, and everybody else that we are calling and friendly army and family. So proud of you, Mandy. Are we done? Good. That's a wrap. Thank you, guys. Bye. By the way, do you know that?